Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 7 of Tableau Scenario Based Question Series. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Our first question is, how to find the sales from 18th day to 30th day in each month? Okay, first let's understand the question. Let's drag order date. Okay, so what's the requirement is we need the data from 18th day to 30th day for every month in the data set. Okay, now let's do it. We'll create a calculated field and rename it 18th to Day. Okay, let's write the logic first, then I'll explain it. We'll use date part to get the days from order date that should be greater than equal to 18 and date part based on day from order date is less than equal to 30 okay so what we are doing here is we are using date part to extract the day from order date okay we are using date part because date part returns the value as an integer so that we can compare with this our integer value okay so it should be greater than equal to 18 and it should be less than equal to 30 okay so that we can get the data from 18 to 30 days and click on ok now drag it into filter and make it to true and click on ok now you can see we are getting the data from 18 to 30 for every month ok now let's drag the sales and now you can see the sales is coming from this specific period only ok so this is how you can solve this problem. Let's move to our next question. How to find nth highest sale? This is one of the common questions for SQL interview. So let's do it in Tableau as well. So there are multiple ways to do it. First, let's check the manual work. I'm using customer name and sales and sort in descending order. Okay, let's say you want to find out second highest sale. So you can just keep this one and you will get second highest sale okay and if you want to find out third highest so this is like a manual work you can go and do it again so this is like very manual work and not recommended approach okay let's check our second method as well for this let's create a field index okay and click on ok now drag it here click on ok and now show the filter ok let's say you want to find out fifth higher sale so just enter five on the both side ok so that you can get the required value you want to find out tenth just change it to ten you will get the 10th highest value okay this is also like very manual work and not recommended approach now let's discuss our third method to do it for this we will create a parameter so that we can give the flexibility to the user to select the values okay rename it select and customer okay and click on ok now create a calculated field to assign a rank based on sales in descending order ok rank of sales and I am using dance rank because if the two customer has same sales then we will get the both and it doesn't skip the next number ok 
write sum of sales and in descending order okay why i'm using sum of sales instead of only sales because all the value should be aggregated before using table calculation function okay now let's remove it to check it we'll get the error as you can see all the fields must be aggregated or constant when using table calculation function okay let's add some again and click on okay now create one more calculated field now let's call our rank of sales is equal to our parameter okay so what this calculation will do is if the rank of sales and the value that we give in the parameter should be equal then it will give true otherwise false okay if we enter any value in the parameter it should select the same rank of sales okay rename it t slash f customers okay and click on okay now drag our customers our sales and drag this value in the filters make it true and show our parameter okay let's say i want to find out 15th highest sales okay just click on 15 so you can see we are getting 15th highest sales customer okay let's say you want to find out fourth just click on fourth so this is recommended approach to find out and highest sales in the tab view okay let's move to our next question how to hide and unhide unused field in the tab view let's say we have used many fields in question one and question two how to keep only them and hide unused field okay for this you can go to this drop down and go with hide all unused field when you click on it you can see we get only those fields which are used in our question one question two okay and how to unhide all the fields that we hide it for this go with the same and show hidden fields okay you will get all these fields but still you can't use it if you drag it here you will not able to do it for this you have to manually select all these fields let's say if you are doing one by one you can right click on it and go with unhide to select all the fields at the same time hold the shift button and select till last value and click on ok now you have selected all the fields now right click on it and go with unhide ok now you can see all the fields are unhided these are not unhided so do it the same unhide and these as well ok now you can see all the fields are unhided now but you can see we have lost our hierarchy after unhiding the fields ok so this is how you can hide and unhide the fields that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos